Hey, glue troopers. Welcome back to the Tarvis. All right. Uh, lots of stuff done today, but I got to pack it in. Um, I got uh, things to do with the house. But I wanted to talk about uh, the progress that's been made and a few lessons that I've learned. Uh, first off, I uh, made a lot of progress on rigging the Felix stove, got the decals on it, got some weathering done to it. Probably finish it in the next couple of days. Um, I also realized that I'm probably at some point, I wouldn't be shocked if after it's been on the shelf a while when the mood strikes, and I ordered some easy line. I wouldn't be surprised if I come out with the snippers and start uh, replacing some of this line with the uh, easy line because uh, some of the stuff, the, the slack in it, it's kind of hit and miss. But I realized that uh, this, this gray thread that, uh, that I was given that I'm using, it, I can see it working on a pretty well on a smaller model. The problem with this airplane is the flex and give. And uh, that's, uh, that's, the, the biggest challenge that I faced. An easy line also would have probably avoided some breakage. So definitely on a plane, even the guy who did the, the, the build that's in the book said he used easy line. Also, I got this little dropper, a little paint dropper and picked up some CA glue with it, just uh, siphoned it out because I had the ultra thin and it's made it a lot easier to put just little dabs of glue because the bottle's too big. And uh, that came in handy. Also played with the Alclad today and uh, here, I'll show you some pictures. Uh, pretty nice. Of course, this is a rough model. This is just a test shot. I actually painted a piece of stock styrene uh, with the lacquer today, and, and I'll put a side-by-side -side comparison of the uh, two. That's number 105 and 101. And uh, so far, it's kind of impressive. It does leave a nice finish on there. I'll, I'll be able to turn this into a fairly nice little... Uh, a spaceship model that I'll probably at some point hang up with the little space station and and, and maybe you know I had talked about doing something hanging something in the ceiling like that Chesley Bonestell painting uh, I might actually go ahead with that at some point and that's uh, the the two big things there I got some decals on the Felix though also uh, this particular version of it although there's a lot of tiny little decals there's not uh, the, the big ones are on and they I made the biggest mistake I made was, of course, I should have put the decals on before uh, I mounted uh, anything that was uh, on the ailerons and the wings. That, that was I, I did put them on the top wing before I got going, but then I, in the bottom wing it didn't matter because there was no rigging down there. But then I realized you had the option. I went ahead and exercised that you have uh, decals on the underside of the upper wing, and uh, I love decals, so there you go on that. And. I uh, really did have a productive day though. Got the little saw horses built. Also, had these little brass props that were sent to me, and I went ahead and uh, they're they're little spinny props. Uh, I forgot what you called them. One of the viewers had tried to market these, and they uh, uh, prop blur 148 scale. And so I went ahead and put one on. Uh, I did not build this uh, Hawker biplane. It's one of my guide and a lot purchased off of eBay. But I figured, hey, you know, that that's a, it didn't have a prop or a clear plastic spinner or anything. So I that's the perfect one to do it with. And I think they actually look kind of cool. I painted it uh, some uh, silver and uh, uh, black and everything. But I mean, you know, everybody's got a different idea. But I think it's kind of cool. Uh, so anyway, there's that. So that's what we got tonight. So guys, uh, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to everybody later. You have a good evening. And I'm just going to show you some pictures now. Model on.